Apa yang diusik tu dalam buat asli sekarang? sa department mo. Ito po. Ito po. Ito po. Patras mo. Patras. Patras mo. 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 Medyo ano, medyo may konting delay siya, usually. Like in live streams. Hindi ko mga 10 second delay. Ah, may may delay. Oo. Okay. Baka dito. Okay. Ayun, just beside the picture is okay. Just beside the picture is okay. Ayun po, ayun po siya. Really beside the picture. May kita, may kita yun, diba? Hmm. Ayun. Ayun. Boss. Picture yung audio, okay. Yung audio naman. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. Try to come back. Masasasa. Tire? Okay, okay. 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 
Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, po sa mga nandito, for those who are here, and those who are also joining us online. So, I'm Nino Lodiste. I am a colleague of Raul from the Department of Sociology and Anthropology at the Nino de Manila University. Ko. So, kasamahan po ako ni Raul na nagtuturo sa pamantasan ng Ateneo. Um, naghanda po kami ng programa, ng simpleng uh, programa ngayon. Uh, hapon na ito, uh, we prepared something to well, um, bid Raul farewell, but more importantly, uh, to celebrate Raul's life. No? Napaka talagang persona po ni Raul sa departamento. At bawat isa po sa amin, eh, may mahalagang karanasan bilang kasama niya, bilang katrabaho niya. So, meron pong from our department na apat na magbibigay po kay eh, Raul at mapapakinggan, masasaksihan ko natin sila ngayong hapon. So, muli binababi ko namin kayo ng magandang hapon, pati po yung uh, colleagues who are joining us online via YouTube. So, to begin uh, our program for today, uh, we would like to call on the chair of the Department of Sociology and Anthropology, Dr. Jose Joel Taluday, para po magbigay ng uh, kanyang pagpupugay at pagpapakilala. Joel. Thank you, Nini. Uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, ang dito, and the doctor and the police, uh, for online, is joining me for so, who is going to be watching this. It's okay. In the celebration tonight. Um, this will be short. Uh, I have known of Raul um, years before I met him. Uh, he has already become a legendary figure, uh, not only in Philippine anthropology, uh, but in global anthropology, especially sa larangan, uh, sa, sa area na uh, technology based anthropology and also visual anthropology. Uh, kilala na siya. And I am an eyewitness of, of this and I know this. For one, because when I started off my anthropological studies, uh, I cannot help but use his work, yung one of the celebrated work, that we have one of the many celebrated work, yung text in cells. And I think I owe it to Raul and in that work why I had uh, gained my degree. Kasi nakatulong talaga siya sa, sa and um, I have not met him even after I finished my uh, my, my own degree sa, sa, sa masters, years uh, after that. But I went on uh, to study uh, my, my doctorate uh, abroad in the, in the UK. And I learned that even within the, the, the UK scholarship, first time Marie heard from them that they've been talking about Raul. And I said, I've encountered that guy, I've not met him. And I know that with uh, anthropology, the Philippines as an anthropological association of the Philippines, or GAT, um, he's already been the top of the association. Um, you know, that that come from um, global scholars, uh, they've been quoting their own, citing their own, and also uh, presented his work, his ideas in their own uh, talk in some of the forums in top universities elsewhere. So we're saying that oh, there's an anthropologist in the Philippines, his name is Raul Bergera. Uh, he had pioneered the study of anthropology, culture, and cell phones, uh, and, and, and texting. So, nakakatabay ang puso, probably, uh, sitting in an international uh, forum, uh, mentioning someone who you know uh, had come from your side of the world. Um, but I finally met Raul when I joined the Department of Sociology and Anthropology sa Ateneo. And uh, Raul, a towering figure, um, recognized uh, globally, comes in with a very humble, simple, and uh, very easygoing uh, 
kind of well bearing um, the way the way he carries himself. Walang, walang aura. You wouldn't even know that he's a world class world class figure. Just like engaging, talking, talking to him. Wala, wala, wala. Nothing, no air, no. Just a simple man with big ways. And, and then I would notice that everyone would talk to him. Uh, but not only our students, but, but when I get to be, so we get to know, and we get to be the same group on, on so many other things because I also, since I've been using his work, I would also touch on technology. In my, in my own work, and sometimes I get to look in the various conversations. And students from all around the world would also talk to him. Uh, students in the master's degree, in the doctorate degree, wanting to do anthropology, wanting to do uh, technology studies. Uh, they would all come to, 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 to Raul, and there are various academic forums in the country that we would, and they would, uh, the organizers international. Uh, would make it sure that, that Raul would be speaking and, and giving the last comment because that 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 tall uh, stature that it is. But then, as I said, when he comes back to the to the department, uh, there's there's no aura uh, of, of say, oh, um, I'm 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 a towering figure, and so therefore treat me with, with with respect. No 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 kingship or king king. Kind of, um, let's say, attitude uh, for that. If anything, um, he would readily just offer, and, uh, because I'm not so sure, and, and I know that he has retired, and I'm not so sure what kind of retirement uh, he wants, but, but before I could even speak, he would already tell me that everything and anything that I could help of, because she's, please just talk to me. And I did, of course, he said so, and, and I will, and um, I keep giving him work. Uh, all the way, and uh, it, it was fun to work with him because it's so so just so easy and and very generous uh, in time and in, in knowledge. And in fact, he didn't only help us at the department with uh, with, with teaching because that was my primary uh, aim. And 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 he saved our teaching needs multiple times. This is very it's a very good brain, large one. Uh, and uh, and teach uh, theory, which is one of the the, the foundational uh, courses that's being taught at, at Ateneo. And he would often offer that. But but not only that, he would also tell me that uh, hey, you run a journal, you're editing a journal. I can also contribute. And each time we ran out of papers and articles, we would call on Dial Raul, ex Raul, and Raul would readily um, hand over a uh, piece and quickly done. Um, not all scholars can write prolifically and quick. He can write as quick as he can, a week, second or two weeks, uh, he has uh, a well-written scholarly work. And I just can't fathom how can someone write such a complicated uh, piece of knowledge. But that's Raul. And then um, uh, when when we learned of, of, of he was unwell, uh, he still was teaching at Ateneo, and uh, he was teaching just a semester ago, and uh, we scheduled a teaching for him. This semester, he talked with, with, with some colleagues, and, uh, and in fact, other departments other than us are eagerly waiting for his inputs for the other courses. Because the feedback from students are just tremendous. They, uh, they have valuable, uh, learning and, and lessons. But um, we learned later that, that he was unwell. Uh, he had to stay on for over a month in, in, in the hospital. Uh, and uh, we, we thought that, okay, we'll, we'll give Raul a break, but the course is still this. So I can say that at, at the very, very, very end, uh, he still was working and he still is sharing knowledge, uh, producing knowledge. And in fact, as I stand here, we're preparing a journal um, and, and coming up with a publication with him uh, on it. And uh, it's still not out, but it was already, uh, it should be out. Um, just a testimony of how uh, well, Raul breeds scholarship, he breeds writing, uh, he breeds teaching, he breeds knowledge production. Probably I could say I haven't seen Raul since he was unwell, 
But probably at the last breath, probably of his life, he was thinking about sharing the knowledge and offering them. And I think that's just um, a wonderful, uh, a, a great, well, accomplishment to celebrate. Not only that, that he's a power in figure, but uh, humble and generous to the very end and, and still thinking of how he can share to the rest of the folk that, that he can. It's a stunning figure, uh, certainly uh, a scholar that will not only be remembered by the department, by, but remembered by Philippine anthropology and probably by the global um, class of uh, scholars. Uh, who have engaged with him. I'll end there, and uh, I'll say to Raul, as he would always end uh, his message, Shao Raul. Thank you, Joel. Uh, Dr. Januda, I mentioned something about how profound an influence Raul was to his students. So yung sunod po namin tatawagin ngayon, isa sa mga naging estudyante niya, at uh, kasama rin po namin sa department bilang graduate assistant, si Edo Balboa. Thank you, Dr. Denise. Um, I think I always, I told Dr. Perdiero multiple times that uh, if he dies, I wouldn't cry. And then he would respond, uh, not if, when. And uh, that he would proceed to um, lick death in the modernity. But of course, now I can't even regurgitate um, the things that he said because it's too complicated for me. Um, I was his uh, TA for three semesters or four, but um, I was really just a GA. And um, I guess if you're crazy enough, you get sucked into various works in the department. So I became his uh, TA for, for um, three, four semesters. And then, um, so that means Fridays, so um, 6 to 9 p.m. is uh, Dr. Curtier's time. And uh, of course, where is, uh, you know very well that uh, a young guy when he would want nothing better on a Friday night, not to drink. <laughs> But to, to theorize <laughs> at the foot of the master, I guess. Um, but this is also a good time to tell you that we bonded Dr. Berger and I in our sense of humor, you know, sarcasm and exaggeration. Um, so there, um, as a TA, I, I did learn a lot from Dr. Berger. There I say I learned more as a TA, respectfully. Um, in those times than in my 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 coursework. But beyond my um my TA duties, so my we were also working in um clerical stuff, you know. Um and uh, there's one funny story, our chair knows this and Mount Bird knows Mount Bird's knows this that uh, he was required once to um send a photo of his credit card, I think, or his ID, a photo of himself with um, his details. And somehow, this is what he sent us. He sent us that. <laughs> and I, at that time, I, I didn't know if I should laugh or... But at that time, I just gave a big uh, sigh because I was thinking, oh no, the documents are all due and then he gives me this. <laughs> so what happened was I went to Dr. Pertera's house and uh, took the photo of um, his passport and it did end there. Um, <laughs> I spent the afternoon asking him for other documents that we probably didn't need, but um, might be good to have them. So we went up his room and uh, he brought out all his documents and uh, we took photos of it. And it was a, it was a really good afternoon. And um, uh, what else? Yeah, so a lot of it is just that, and I, I don't. A lot of part of my memory with Dr. Berger is just candid of banter and um, joshing around and sheepish 
comebacks, but you might think that's a bit shallow, but also a lot of my memories with him would be uh, a lot of theorizing and reflecting and theorizing and then reflecting. And I think that's what trained me to think how I do my work today. And um, speaking of that, those moments, what I really enjoyed, what I really cherish, were the small nuggets of wisdom he would drop. Um, even better than um, the technicalities of theory and uh, methods. If I could read one small nugget of wisdom that I would keep close to my heart, um, the context of this was um, uh, he, he, we were talking about my thesis and he thought that I had so many concepts he thought I was so enamored in all of these concepts, and he said this, and I think this can apply to, to other facets of my life. He, he said, uh, hold on. He said, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is actually a piece composed by Mozart. Many classical composers use folks, folk songs, which they developed into symphony, symphonies, etc. So he says, simple tunes can be the foundation of a classical piece. Thanks. So with that, um, I wish to show you a video tribute um, from our department, which is um, in synchrony with the, the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star.
learn from Paris uh, elegance in simplicity no? and uh, simple and elegant po ni Raul kaya talagang nanguli na po kami no rare na po na yung panahong ito yung may katanyaran and yet no uh, mas pinili pa rin yung mga simple ng tao um at this point no uh, we would like to call on a dear colleague of Raul, they have they go way back. Matagay silang nakasama sa departamento at uh, isa rin siyang tanyag na miyembro ng katawaran ng sosyologi at ng politika. It's none other than Doc Butch Jasa. Thank you. Actually, uh, Raul and I have the same background because um, what of our roots are in Manila. Um, his roots are in Malate, my roots are in Quiapo, you know, no. um, Looking back, actually our paths run on, par on parallel tracks, but at times they, they cross over, cross each other. Um, one of us took anthropology here in Australia, I in, in Hawaii. Um, by coincidence, both of us decided to do our field work. Not in the Tagalog area, which we're familiar with, but in the Lopez region, totally unfamiliar to both of us. So we had to learn from Japan. I didn't know. I'm, uh, so he did his field work in the Lopez Sur. I did my field work in the Lopez North. Okay. Eventually, however, our paths uh, crossed over because when there was a, a book on how uh, the fall of Marcos was viewed, from the uh, provinces, he uh, went back to his village in Lopez North. I went back to my village in Lopez North. So we worked together in the same group. And then um, I became active in Vegan in the 1990s because friends of mine in Vegan has me to help them in, um, in uh, protecting the heritage site, of, the heritage zone of Vegan. So uh, I was talking to vegan, trying to think of ways to make pub, the public more aware of vegan. So sometimes I would see over like the time when we organized the street festival, public is all ago, to make people aware that these houses yeah. had stories to tell. Um, our past also crossed, of course, when we um, began to get more involved in Ateneo. In fact, um, he asked me to write the introduction to his book on theory, um, European localities and global perspectives, which I gladly did. And then um, there was a, an unexpected uh, one that developed because when he found out my son had the same name as C, Rahul, he developed a special bond with my son. In fact, he would always ask about my son. And what and when my son would meet, meet him, they would they have a long conversation together. So that is a special tie. Um, in the field of um, anthropology, Raul actually had a very deep impact on me because um, I always use as, as a reference for my students before reading this, this wonderful article on culture. Because, um, you know, for us anthropologists, concept of culture is so very important. But um, what Rahul did was to show that actually culture is not monolithic because um, it is shaped by your position in society. It's shaped by your um, ethnicity, it's shaped by your gender, it's shaped by social class. And um, very interestingly, he connected me with globalization because definitely uh, as more people travel outside their own locality, to other countries, uh, their perspective on their culture changes. So um, I found this very interesting because this has, this has confirmed my own experience in the barangays I work in the office. Okay, um, I also uh, am indebted to Rahul for his wonderful ethnography on uh, a municipality in Lopez, which is called Samora. Um, when I was handing um, cultural, introduction to cultural anthropology, 
I always make sure that my students have ethnographies to read during the entire semester. One was, uh, both of them were written up more or less at the same time, but in different parts of the song. One was the um, ethnography by Michel Rosalto, Knowledge and Passion among the Romans, Shayamadre. The other one was Rahul's uh, religion and rationality in the Philippine community. I thought it was great to compare them because um, one, one is located in the mountains, another in the flatlands. One is located in a community of shipping cultivators, another in a community of uh, agriculturists. One is located among people uh, who, are, who are not Christians. Another is located in a community that has long been Christianized for centuries. So I thought the contrast was interesting because uh, and this and it, um, enabled me to explain to the students why it's so difficult to generalize about the Philippine culture. Because right it was something already of this complexity. So I was uh, very grateful to Prabhu for, for that work. Which I, I really valued a lot. Um, I also valued this work on digital technology in its relation to culture. Uh, I also use this work as reference because personally I found it very interesting that it, um, that he pointed out an uh, interesting trend. At the same time that digital technology uh, connects text in cells to other cells, it actually enables cells to, to develop their own little worlds very private worlds, um, open only to them in a small circle. I found this very, um, this, um, very confirmatory of my bias in terms of looking at universal history. I tend to be like agents. I felt it was very interesting. On one, one hand, we connect more and more with each other. On the, on the other hand, we actually are becoming more and more individualistic, we create our own worlds. So I found it very interesting. Now, um, looking back, there's always an act of Raoul, which I should have always pressure. I remember there was a Philippine Studies Conference in Canberra, um, after which some of us went to Sydney. Uh, Raoul offered his apartment to us in Sydney. And he offered his own bedroom to me. His own bed for me to sleep on. So that I can I was always a uh, member with gratitude, this generosity. I just want to say goodbye. Adios, Raul, un fuerte abrazo. Goodbye, dear friend, and I hug. Thank you, uh, Doc Pitch. Um, Dr. Shahzita mentioned that one of Raoul's research interests is digital worlds. And so our next speaker for today, um, Dr. Salina Saloma Pedulu, the Dean of the School of Social Sciences, is a dear colleague of Raoul, and like him also shares the same research interest as far as uh, studying society is concerned. So we are privileged to have her today. Dean. Um, let me start with a poem, one of my favorite poems by Emily Dickinson. Because I could not stop for death, the kind stop for me. Carriage held with just ourselves and mortality. We slowly drove in new no pace and have put away my labor and my leisure too, for his civility. We passed the school where children stole a recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain. We passed the setting sun, or rather, he passed us. The dews grew quivering and chill, for only blossom were my gown, my ticket, only two. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, a cornice in the ground. Since then, these centuries, and yet, Feel shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity. 
Unlike the persona in the poem, Raul stopped. Raul stopped to talk about what they're doing, about the things that the fathers us, the sublime, the everyday. He stopped to talk to every one of us. And uh, my neighbors in the Lando Drive are here. You know that he, he stopped to talk to us. Um, simple. Um, so that was Raul. Um, he stopped. He stopped to talk, unlike the, the persona in the phone. Um, I first met Raul in 1999. I was a PhD student and uh, I was doing work on information technology professionals, how we do IT in the Philippines. And Raul was. Uh, he considered him a pioneer of technology based anthropology and study of information technology. I was interested in the doing of how we do technology, how we do information technology. So I was looking at programmers sitting beside them who uh, do something on the screen. Um, but that, that, that work. And Raul was interested in the use of technology. Texting cells was the book. She wrote uh, very pioneering work. Uh, hope you still have a copy of that book. Um, so he was he was welcoming to scholars, young and old, and especially the young. So he started in 1999. He established a PhD discussion group. Um, and, and later on, we know that his house in the London Drive is like an international house. Joy <laughs> would know that he welcomes. International guests, so talo yung Ateneo International Residence Hall <laughs> sa sa Belante Drive uh, sa bahay ni Raul. And lahat, and then he would invite local scholars to have dinners with them. So it's it's a uh, we got their house. You know that there were always guests in the house. There were always discussion, and there was good food. Sometimes from Joy, uh, who cooks real Thai food that he can really really well. Uh, so, so that, that that's my experience. Well. Very welcoming, very supportive. No one is a threat. It's just the ones to people to to do well, to shine, and he's there. And it's very inspiring to be with Raul, especially if you're a young student, uh, because he knows the theory, he knows the words. And one of my favorite learning from Raul is that he said, uh, uh, "We have to, to learn the, uh, we have to know the models." Of we are doing models of the world, but we have to know the world of our models. And um, but it's, I think who should have it? I think what, who said that? Joel Habermas? <laughs> or probably. Yeah, so that, that's Raul. But um, the second part I, I'd like to share with you is that Raul is our neighbor. My husband and, and I, Eric, Eric is here. When Raul died, he said something very dramatic. He said, our story. Dead. King Arthur, sorry, not Arthur, uh, any Arthur, <laughs> not any Arthur. King Arthur is dead. And um, the land of Drive became our home because of Raul. So when, when I mentioned that in 1999, he welcomed me and we established a PhD discussion group. He would invite us to his house, and when I saw the house, it's a very, it, it's a good cut. The cut of the house is, is very nice. And Raul, of course, took some aesthetics there. there. It, really, it was a wonderful place in 1999 when I first saw it. And when we were looking for a house, I, I, I told Raul we were looking for a house because we were having a, our son was coming. We need a bigger space. And he said, this house, three units away from this house, is available for rent. And then a few years later, we said, hmm. Let's try if the seller, I mean, if the owner will sell this house to us. And so we became, he sold us the house. He sold us the house. And so we became, we found a permanent home. We drive and for 16 years. Raul was a very good neighbor. His plates moved to our house because we were having, we were just have plates and utensils for six people. And we have guests. His glasses and his plates would go to our house. He was, very, very kind to my family, to my husband, to my son. He was very, very kind. So, um, 
Yeah, well, it's almost 16 years because we moved in May 2008. I 16 years old. It's really a, a, a very good time. Thank you for stopping, stopping to talk to us about anything and everything. Uh, and yeah, so thank you for being, for listening. What we plan to do here is, is actually, this is an or, this organized by the department. Uh, we, were, we had you know, four speakers, but actually we plan this to be really open. So then we said that we thought, okay, we could start a program here uh, with the four, four of us speaking. We are expecting some people to read a talk, to feel it. I mean, as, as, Miguel, as Michael said, feel at home. <laughs> Just do anything, anything that you want to do, anything that you're comfortable with. I think I'm the, the last speaker in the line up, Joel, which means that there's plenty of time. There's, there's food. Um, maybe we could just take turns with the microphone <laughs> and, and say what we feel. Uh, Diego Marana is on his way. He, one of the people that, that are all adopted. I think all of us have been adopted very well. He's on his way because he went to Ateneo. So he thought uh, the morning he came yeah, to Ateneo community here. So we were thinking about here and in our group, there's Valanda Drive, the, the family of Raul, nephew uh, Rafi, and then his wife Gina is here. Um, UP, PW, you are here. Uh, is Amiel here? No, we were supposed to get in touch with Amiel. The PWU is here. We actually met this in the Ateneo UP PWU gathering. We sent our own for the goodness and the essential aspect. So, yeah, we can also start eating now, but I just leave the microphone here. Thank you. Thank you, Lee, for those uh, generous words. For, um, uh, yun pong mga gustong magbahagi ng kwento, gustong uh, salita, welcome po kayo. But of course, uh, anyone from the family would like to also talk, no? we're more than welcome to do that. Okay. Mike. I guess I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has come. Um, my dad was an amazing man. Uh, it's just a lot of people. Um, before he left, a uh, funny thing happened. He said to me, if he's wrong about uh, his concept of religion and God, he will come back and inform me. So I can change my ways. And then about 10 minutes later, he called me back and he said, I don't doubt it. So uh, the last few days that he was around, even though he knew what he was facing and yeah, he's just a really beautiful guy, touched a lot of people, he means the world to me. I'm a world, my world, one of the other people saying about him. Thank you. That's all. Maybe later. Right this. Okay. Um, the program will end there. Or the bullet that that was your ending program. But um, kung gusto niyo pong balikan yung live stream, ipo post niyo namin ito no, dun sa Facebook page ng Department of Sociology and Anthropology. At uh, yun pong ibang mga uh, uh, video ho at saka yung iba pong mga materials na naipo namin, we will certainly share it with the family first and foremost. So sabi nga po ni Dean kanina, welcome po yung ibang magsalita. At uh, syempre may mga pagkain pong nakakain. So as uh, Mike mentioned a while ago, pagdating po natin dito kanina, make yourselves at home. You, know, you can do anything. Salamat po na marami. Nimis ka namin.
Pwede ka na bang One more din tayo nagsabi ka? 